2023. This will be the first visit of the President to Japan since taking office. The Department of Foreign Affairs considers the President's visit to Japan as consequential. Japan is the first country with which the Philippines has forged a strategic partnership and is only one of two strategic partners of the Philippines, the other one being Vietnam. Japan is the only country with which the Philippines has a bilateral free trade agreement called the Philippines-Japan Economic Partnership Agreement, or PJEPA. In 2021, Japan was the Philippines' second largest trading partner, its third largest export market, and its second top source of imports. Japan has also been the country's biggest bilateral source of active official development assistance, or ODA, providing concessional loans to finance important infrastructure and capacity building projects, social safety net programs, education, agriculture, and science and technology support, and many other high-impact programs. The official working visit is expected to reaffirm the strong and vibrant relations between the two countries. It also seeks to maximize the full potential of the Philippines-Japan strategic partnership in all its aspects and facilitate closer defense, security, political, economic, and people-to-people -people ties. During the visit, we anticipate the signing of seven key bilateral documents or agreements covering cooperation in infrastructure development, defense, agriculture, and information and communications technology, areas that are in the President's priority agenda. The President will be joined by the First Lady, former President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, Senate President Miguel Zubiri, House Speaker Martin Romualdez, Secretary for Foreign Affairs Enrique Manalo, Finance Secretary Benjamin Diokno, Trade and Industry Secretary Alfredo Pascual, Energy Secretary Rafael Lutilia, Tourism Secretary Cristina Frasco, Special Assistant to the President Antonio Lagdamea Jr. and Secretary Cheloy Garafil and other cabinet officials uh, and under secretaries who will be part of the official delegation. The President will depart Manila in the afternoon of February 8 and will arrive in Tokyo in the early evening. The official activities of the President will begin on February 9 with several important meetings. President will meet Japanese Prime Minister Kishida Fumiyo, his host, and it will be the second face-to-face -face meeting between, between the two heads of government in less than five months after their first meeting at the sidelines of the United Nations General Assembly in September last year. The bilateral meeting will be followed by a working dinner hosted by the Prime Minister. Both leaders will discuss a broad range of bilateral and regional issues to further strengthen the two countries' cooperation in the second decade of their strategic partnership. The President and the First Lady will also be given an imperial audience with Their Majesties Emperor Naruhito and Empress Masako at an unspecified date and time. Commensurate to the strong economic ties between the two countries, a large business delegation will be joining the President's trip. Roundtable and business meetings, business calls on the President, and a business seminar will be held on February 9 and 10. The President will also witness the signing of several business deals. In his commitment to enhance the global competitiveness of Filipino seafarers, the President will also be meeting with CEOs of Japanese shipping companies and associations to advance partnerships with Philippine stakeholders in maritime education and welfare programs for our seafarers. And on the morning of his departure on Feb February 12, the President will be meeting with more than a thousand members of the Filipino community in Tokyo. The President will depart Japan for Manila after the Philcom event and will arrive in Manila in the evening. Thank you very much, uh, Asik Imperial.
Um, I believe we have some time for some questions, and uh, we are actually joined by the uh, DFA Press Corps via Zoom, and they had uh, sent some questions. Are these the questions that you gave me? Okay. From Ms. Uh, Celerina Di Monte of NHK, will there be any security cooperation agreement that the two countries will be signing? And if so, what could it be? Well, thank you very much for that question. Uh, we are expecting the signing of an umbrella terms of reference uh, on humanitarian assistance and disaster relief or HADR cooperation. Uh, okay. This will be signed by the Department of National Defense and the Ministry of Defense of Japan. Um, and uh, yes, Japan has been a very important partner in uh, uh, providing assistance in relation to disaster relief. And uh, we certainly welcome this uh, agreement uh, once it's signed. Uh, and aside from this agreement, there are uh, other important agreements that are perhaps worth mentioning. Um, the Secretary of Foreign Affairs will be signing uh, an exchange of notes uh, with regard to loan agreements uh, on infrastructure, namely the North-South Commuter Railway from Malolos to Tutuban and the North-South Commuter Railway Extension um, to Calamba, uh, from Malolos, Bulacan to Clark International Airport and to Tuban to Calamba, Laguna. Uh, this will involve uh, around uh, $3 billion worth of uh, uh, loans uh, that will be later signed also by the Department of Finance. Also, um, there is a proposed agreement on uh, cooperation in the field of information and communications technology, which will be signed by the, the Secretary of Foreign Affairs on behalf of the DICT, because Secretary Ui will not be able to join the delegation. And finally, um, there will be a memorandum of cooperation between the Department of Agriculture and the Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries on agricultural cooperation. As you know, the President heads the Department of Agriculture, but his senior undersecretary will be the one to sign this agreement with his Japanese counterpart. Okay. Are there any questions from the floor? Okay. We have Joyce Balancho of ABS-CBN DCMM. Sir, um, baka na may additional details ka po on the agriculture uh, cooperation, memorandum of cooperation. Meron po ba tayo na expect na for example, exportation of Filipino products to Japan, mga ganong Well, under uh, PJEPA, we are already exporting a lot of agricultural products to Japan. Hopefully, this visit will result in uh, more imports, uh, sorry, more exports to more of agricultural products to Japan, especially our bananas and uh, has avocado, which we hope mm -hmm. will uh, gain better market access in the Japanese market. Thank you. Okay. There's another question here from the DFA Press, also from uh, Ms. Monte of NHK. Is there any communication from the Japanese government regarding the Luffy case, and will it have an effect on the President's visit to Japan? Is there a likelihood that the deportation issue of the de detained Japanese nationals in the Philippines be discussed during the President's bilateral meeting with FM Kishida. Um, this matter is being handled by the Department of Justice. Uh, if there is a decision to deport these, uh, the concerned Japanese nationals, uh, the Philippines uh, will follow the timeline of deportation proceedings in accordance with Philippine laws. Um, and we feel that this is totally unrelated to the uh, visit of the president. Now, this is a consular matter being handled by the Department of Justice uh, and the Japanese embassy here, and our embassy in Japan uh, with the Ministry of Justice of, of Japan in, in, in Tokyo. So uh, we don't think it will affect in any way the visit of the president, and we do not expect it to be raised during his meeting with his counterpart. Okay, thank you. Any further questions? I think we're good. Well, 
one more. <laughs> okay, Joyce again from ABS CBN DC. Sir, after Japan, what will, what will be his next um, trip abroad? Oh, I, I'm sure Malacanang will announce it once uh, the calendar has been finalized for his next overseas uh, visit. Hi, sir, madam. Uh, Ian Bruce of GMA News. Sir, I know this is a sensitive issue, but uh, will the president raise the issue on comfort of women uh, during the, his visit in Japan? Yes. Um, we don't expect it to be raised, but uh, the position of the Philippines on this issue is that uh, compensation claims by former comfort women uh, uh, is uh, considered to be already uh, settled no, as far as the government is concerned. Uh, all war-related claims are deemed to have been settled by our 1956 reparations agreement with Japan. No? However, the government will not prevent private claims should such actions be pursued by victims on, on, on their behalf or on their behalf. No? So we will not stop, uh, of course, uh, the victims because this is uh, uh, an atrocious violence against women mm. during the war. Uh, but as far as the government is concerned, we have already signed that uh, reparations agreement with Japan in 1956. Thank you. Hi, sir. Um, good morning. Sir, Maricel Halili from TV5. Sir, just a quick follow-up about the business um, uh, targets uh, during the visit of the president. We have a an estimate about the target or possible uh, investment that we can gain from the visit? Well, judging from the size of the business delegation, uh, we were told yesterday that there are already about 150 who have signed up to join the business delegation from the Philippines. Uh, and the number of uh, 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 meetings and the business activities lined up for the president uh, we foresee a lot of uh, business deals to be signed in various areas. And um, as for the, the estimated uh, figure uh, for uh, investment pledges, we will leave that uh, for the DTI to explain, no? uh, especially after the, the business meetings. I'm sure you'll, you'll receive uh, information about this uh, after the business uh, events on the 9th and the 10th of February. But uh, the economic portion of the visit is equally important no, to, to this visit. And the president is devoting a lot of time no, in uh, uh, ensuring that we are able to attract uh, more interest from Japanese investors uh, and that we are able to sell more products uh, for export to the Japanese market. OK. If there are no further questions, this closes our briefing with Assistant Secretary of the Department of Foreign Affairs, Neil Imperial of the Office of Asian and Pacific Affairs. Thank you very much. And we'll be back shortly with another briefing with the Department of Interior and Local Government. See you then. Thank you.